Fallon Program, Bachelor of Arts in Language and Culture. I myself have graduated from the Fallon programs. The name is pretty much self-explanatory. Hi there, it's Steven from the Coach Education. So for today's video, I'd like to make it specifically for those of you who are waiting to apply for the ballot program, especially on the second round. Because you have to go through the reading exam where it tests you both of your reading and writing skills. For the reading section, it's going to be something similar to what you all have seen on the SAT, the verbal section, or the CUAFT. However, on the writing section, I haven't seen a lot of available materials or sources online relating specifically to this. So I'd like to hop on here to help you focus and narrow down the idea of that. So for this video, I hope to be the first official series of the cultural studies or culture related topics. I myself have graduated from the ballot program, so I would say I have an idea of what the program is looking for and what sort of basic understanding or concept they expect you to have or at least have considered. This video does understand the general concept of what it actually is. Ballot program, Bachelor of Arts in Language and Culture. The name is pretty much self-explanatory. It focuses on not just language, but also culture. But what exactly is culture, you might ask? So this is what we're going to focus on. For this first video, I'm discussing three main concepts. First, culture. Second, media studies. And third, global studies. So let's discuss and have better understanding of what culture actually is. I would say if you ask these questions to any of the ballot students or ballot graduates, I'm sure you get similar reactions from them. What is culture? It's the kind of questions you got asked very frequently, especially in the field of humanity or when I was in ballot, because this concept is pretty broad. Because when we talk about culture, it's not just way of practices of certain kind of country or community. However, it's something that evolves and changes over time. That's why culture could be related to anything. It could be related to how you consume media, it could be related to how you look at yourself, how you look at others, how you communicate to others. You need to be able to find the definition or at least to define what culture really is in your term. The fact that there's no such solid definition of what the term actually is, it allows you to explore the term and be more critical and creative about it. Moving on to the second term, which is media studies or media in general. When we talk about this, you might need to ask yourself, does media influence culture or does culture actually influence media? If you think that media influences culture, it pretty much means that whatever we are experiencing, so things around us are in fact the products of what media are trying to shape and form us. However, if you think that culture is actually influencing media, it means that whatever we see on Netflix, on YouTube, on television in general, of what the media is trying to mimic, the real world or reality? Or do you think that's something in between where one thing affects the others and vice versa? Because that is exactly the kind of questions Ballot expect you to explore and try to answer that questions. And remember, time change, thing change, so does culture. Moving on to third concept, global culture. Global culture, you might think it is actually a product of globalization. Does this have something to do with coming together people? Or do you think media is also related to that? As I mentioned before, culture or cultural studies is pretty much everything and anything. For global culture, if you could relate it to politics or things such as entertainment industry as well, think of how K-pop is now such a big, big phenomenon. I'm here with Jackson Wang, an international superstar. Well, it has long been a big phenomenon, but in the past couple of years, apart from really being huge in the East, is now growing and growing. Its popularity is increasing immensely, especially in the Western countries now. So think of that. Does this have something to do with changing the dynamics of culture? Does this have something to do with the influence of media and how it plays a role in how people perceive things. For example, a couple of years ago, the movie's Crazy Rich Asian. 
March. We've been dating for over a year now, and I think it's about time people met my beautiful girlfriend. People rave a lot about it, especially Asian American population in the United States. Why are these people really excited about seeing people from their culture on Hollywood movies? Does this have something to do with changes of how people perceive certain races? Or does this have something to do with growing media representation and growing power politically and economically? That is pretty much a concept of global culture. While things are affecting and influencing one another, you can also look specifically on how each thing forms and evolves because culture is very fluid. I want you to start thinking more about that if this is a field that you're preparing yourself for. I'll leave the links to the articles related to culture, media, and globalization and how these things relate to one another, which I would say you can find it very useful. And if you have any questions or maybe for the next next videos, I can come back here again and specifically discuss that particular type of articles. So I hope that this video helps you have a better vision and expectation or what to focus when it comes to preparing for ballot program. Or even for those of you who are interested in humanity views in general. And if you have any questions, do not hesitate to leave the questions and I'll be back here and see you guys again very soon. Bye.